Explainer videos are widely used across the industry, but why they are widely used? Hello all, my name is Ruchar Markar from Animation Planet and today let's discuss about explainer videos. What are explainer videos? How to make one and where to use them? What are explainer videos? In simple words, explainer videos are the videos which explain the product, service or a business in a very easy to understand and quick way. They are generally used by businesses to tell about what they are for and what values they provide. Explainer videos are widely used across the industry. But why they are widely used? Two reasons. Number one is they are very short and easy to understand. Second, marketers and customers both found them very effective to learn from. So just we learned that they are widely used. But how to create them? Let's learn how. Number first, in the pre-production part. In pre-production, we do all the research that is required for the business and the explainer video. What the business does, what is their product, their service. We understand and accumulate the knowledge in, a, in our data bank. Then second, we understand what their target market is and what the language the target market understands. Once defining this uh, pre-production, you have got the whole data that how to create one, uh, create the script and the animations of that, who is your target market and where the video is going to be uploaded. After pre-production, we have to, we come to the production part. Here, we start with the script. In script, we understand the tonality of the script, like how it is written. Say for example, if your customer is a B2C, if your business is about a B2C uh, business, then it's actually logical to use a conversational language using the words you, your, okay, yes, voila are good to use. Then come down to a storyboard part. Draw a rough storyboard about what is written in your script. Very rough sketches about it. Here you understand what is the flow of the video, what are the camera angles and what characters are to be used. Here make the necessary changes in your script if required. Now let's come down to the style frame parts. After the storyboard, the rough storyboard is finalized, let's come to the colored storyboard, which are called style frames. In style frames, you decide the characters, the designs, the colors, the color palette of the video. Simultaneously, send the finalized script to voiceover. Next, once the style frames are finalized, you come to the animation part. Here, you have the whole graphic template designed for you. And now you have to just animate it. Take the voiceover and animate it according to the timings of the voiceover. Once the animation is done, give, give a complimentary music to that and add additional sound effects to just give them a punch. Add captions onto that if you are using a burnt captions or called closed captions in the video. Let's come down to the post-production part. In post-production, you have to render out the whole video that you have created. Best to use an H.264 format, which is keeps the quality high, but size low. Now, later on, you can convert that in any resizable format that you want to. Once this is done, it's important to upload the video in your required channels. Use proper description, the title and the thumbnail for the video. And the last and very important point, use keywords and tags for the video when you are uploading on it. Points to remember while creating the explainer video. Number one, define one clear message for the video. Number two, define one clear call to action you want people to take while watching after watching the video. Number three, create captions, either open captions which are uploaded in a different file dot .srt file or a closed captions which are already burned into the video. Number four. Add at least one keyword in the title and the first two lines of the description. This will actually increase your reach. Now, where to use these explainer videos for maximum impact? Use it on your website, but above the fold. This area, which is which you do not have, no one has to scroll down to see. That's the above the fold area. Use the videos into that. Use them in email signatures. Email signatures are always there when you try types or send someone email. Use them in there. Use them in Facebook cover. Facebook cover are the first thing that people see when they come to your page. 
use them in there. Use them in organic feed for social media channels like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Vimeo, etc. Use them in paid advertising. Use them for pitching events. Use them while sending your pitch to your clients. Now, how to measure their impact or what to expect from an explainer video? First, increasing traffic in your webs to your website. Second, rerouting of traffic from social media to your website. Third, action on your paid marketing campaign. And fourth, a better understanding of your videos for pitching. Now we have learned that how to create an explainer video and where to use them. So how much time does it take for an explainer video to create? In general, it takes around three to five weeks to create an explainer video from scratch. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, click subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest information about video and video marketing. Thank you.